Hello, I'm Andrew Smith from Treescape Certified Arborist. Welcome to this week's edition of the Green Review. Now, in most built-up urban environments, there's some kind of infrastructure that has the potential of interfering with our trees. Uh, the two primary locations of these infrastructure is either overhead uh, in the form of wires and such, or stuff that's buried underground. Now, these overhead utilities can include primary and secondary voltage hydro lines, as well as phone lines and cable lines. Now, these lines can become a concern when either the tree is in close proximity to the, these lines and the tree is, is in a state of decline and has the potential of actually falling onto these lines. It also can be a hazard when the tree actually starts to grow right into the lines. Now, when a tree grows into these lines, it uh, can cause outages due to the interference and it can also create a pathway for the electricity to reach the ground. So how can we prevent such conflicts between power lines and trees? Well, first and foremost, if we have the choice, we need to avoid planting near utility lines altogether. If we don't have a choice and we are forced to plant uh, underneath these power lines, then we need to find some kind of plant material that has a smaller size at its maturity. Some suggested species uh, that maintain a smaller height and a smaller canopy spread are trees such as apples, a hawthorn or buckthorn, lilac, dogwood, sumac, juniper, Juniper and yews are nice and low-lying. You have mountain ash as well as choke cherry, to name a few. Another key element to avoiding such conflict is to maintain the trees that are already in proximity to these hydro lines. This may involve removing some deadwood that's in jeopardy of falling on the lines, uh, maintaining sufficient clearance between the hydro lines as well as the tree, and we might even look at cabling some of these branches together so that they don't break apart and fall on the lines. Last case resort, we might even look at removing the tree to get rid of any hazard whatsoever. Now, the key thing is here is to remember not to attempt this work yourself. Contact your local power authority or an arborist to identify any hazards that might be present as well as the best way to resolve the problem. Even professionals have safe limits of approach to these wires, so should you. The removal and pruning of trees by non-professionals can sometimes have very unpredictable outcomes. If either the person doing the work, the tree, or the material that they're removing comes in contact with the lines, there stands a chance of electrocution and serious injury. The old adage holds true, better to be safe than sorry. The second area where we might find utilities that may cause problems is buried underground. Now we might find the same utilities that we would overhead, such as primary and secondary voltage hydro lines, bell as well as cable, but we're also going to find gas lines and water mains. Now the water mains are buried at least six feet below ground, so typically speaking it's not a big problem. And we typically find a conflict uh, when we're looking at grinding out a stump or planting a tree. So again, the best thing to do is to call ahead, you can get locates to find out if these lines are anywhere near the area that we're going to be digging and the process doesn't take too long so it's well worth a small wait to ensure that the area is safe before we dig. Again, better to be safe than sorry. And that's all the time that we have for this week's Green Review. Thanks for joining us. Until next Friday, here's your point to ponder. Historically, electrocution accounts for about 20% of all fatalities in the construction industry. I'm Andrew Smith. We'll see you next Friday. The Green Review is brought to you by Treescape Certified Arborists. We bring trees to life.